Hey everyone, and welcome back to another exciting video. Today, we're going to take a deeper dive into the world of the dark web and learn how to set up your very own .onion website right here on your local Kali Linux machine. This isn't about setting up anything nefarious, but rather understanding the technology and how hidden services work. For this tutorial, I'm assuming you're comfortable with the basics of Kali Linux. If you're completely new to it, I highly recommend checking out some beginner guides first to get familiar with the terminal and basic commands. Now, for this specific video, I've already prepared a simple index.html file, just a very basic web page with maybe a title and a bit of text that we'll be using as our test website to showcase how this all comes together. You can create any basic HTML file you like for this purpose. So, the first crucial component we need is Tor. Tor, short for the Onion Router, is the underlying technology that enables us to create and access these hidden .onion services. Many Kali Linux installations come with Tor pre-installed, which is convenient. However, it's always a good practice to ensure you have the latest version. Let's open up our terminal. We can install Tor or upgrade it if it's already installed using the commands sudo apt install Tor. Go ahead and type that in and hit enter. The system will check if Tor is present, and if not, it will download and install it along with any necessary dependencies. If it's already there, it'll likely tell you it's the latest version. Alright, now that we've confirmed Tor is installed, we need to configure it to understand that we want to run a hidden service. This involves editing Tor's configuration file, which is usually located in the etc. Tor directory. We'll use the nano text editor for this. Type sudo nano slash etc slash tor slash torc in your terminal and press enter. This torque file contains a multitude of configuration options for the Tor client and server. We're specifically interested in the section related to hidden services. You can either scroll through the file to find the relevant lines, or a quicker way is to use the search function in nano. Press CTRL plus W, and then type hidden service cider and press enter. This should take you to the lines we need to modify. You'll be looking forward to key lines. As we mentioned earlier, hashtag hidden service dir per var lib tor hidden underscore service and hashtag hidden service port 81 to 7.0.0.1 colon 8080. You'll likely see a hash symbol at the beginning of these lines, which indicates that they are currently commented out and not being used. We need to uncomment them by simply deleting the hash at the start of each line. Let's take a moment to understand what these lines are instructing Tor to do. The hidden service cider per var lib Tor hidden underscore service directive tells Tor where to create and manage the necessary files for our hidden service. This directory will contain important information, including your service's private key and its randomly generated .onion hostname. Once you've made these changes by uncommenting the lines, press CTRL plus X to exit the nano editor. It will then ask you if you want to save the modified buffer. Type Y for yes, and then press enter to confirm the file name and save the changes. While per var lib tor hidden underscore service, is the default and generally recommended location, you could technically specify a different directory if you have a specific reason to do so. Now, the moment we've been waiting for, finding out our unique, onion address. As we discussed earlier, the Torque configuration directed Tor to store the information about our hidden service in the slash var slash lib slash tor slash hidden underscore service slash directory. Specifically, the dot onion address is stored in a file named hostname. To view the contents of this file, we'll use the cat command. In your terminal, type sudo cat pervar lib tor hidden underscore service hostname and press enter. With our web server up and running, we now need to start the tor service itself. Open a new terminal window. You can do this by clicking on the terminal icon again or by using a keyboard shortcut like CTRL plus Shift plus T. In this new terminal, type the command sudo system to start tor and press enter. This command will instruct the system to start the tor service in the background. 
And there it is. This seemingly random string of characters followed by the dot onion extension is your website's unique identifier on the Tor network. Copy this entire address. To access this dot onion website, you'll need the Tor browser. Standard web browsers like Chrome, Firefox, or Safari cannot directly access dot onion addresses. You can download the Tor Browser for free from the official Tor Project website. Just search for Tor Browser Download in your regular browser. That wraps up this more in-depth tutorial on creating your own .onion website on Kali Linux. I really hope this expanded explanation has provided you with a clearer understanding of the process. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you're interested in more tutorials like this, consider subscribing. Don't hesitate to leave your questions and suggestions in the comments below, I always try my best to respond. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.